Welcome, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to finally be starting Mob Psycho. I did uh, an opening reaction to it maybe like eight months ago, and I was really intrigued. Um, and then a few months later, you guys voted uh, to see what series you wanted to re uh, me to react to. And it was near the top of almost all the polls I, uh, polls I did. So I said, once I finish One Punch Man, I will do Mob Psycho, and this is where we're at. I uh, can't wait to start this. It looked like craziness from the openings, so I am very hyped uh, to start this. And I also, um, I also loved uh, One Punch Man, and uh, I, I'm just hyped to start this for sure. It's been, I've been kind of like waiting to do this. Uh, I know there's two seasons. There's only 24 episodes. Um, if you're new to these, we do uh, reactions. It's usually about two a week. Uh, for these shows so you can um, check them check them out there uh, or you can uh, check out my patreon at patreon.com slash hrich123 and get a few episodes early uh, feel free to check that out also um, I do have a twitter at ajrich123 um, and uh, let's go ahead and start there is a lot going on here what are they having an acid trip right in the beginning What the hell? Or just a humongous fight right in the beginning? Holy shit! It really does look like just one big giant acid trip. What the fuck is that thing? And a happy moon? Okay, somebody ate some weird brownies. Okay, 100 activated, like, <laughs> ridiculous attack? Okay, I have no- I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> Wait, so that's a normal occurrence in this world? Wait, those are the- those are the people that protect? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with their face? The typical rip-off scam. Is this at a mall? Huh. <laughs> I can definitely see the One Punch Man art style here. It's about as shady as it gets here. Oh, so that's what happened to her face. <laughs> oh, or not. <laughs> Everything's so dramatic. He really is. A little full of shit, isn't he? Oh, okay, so there's guys with balls on their chin as well. Ball chins. He's so serious, but... How can you be so serious and so full of shit at the same time? If it's not there, he's a good actor. What the fuck? It's a cockroach the whole time? Okay. I called that already. What the fuck is going on? So he's not full of shit. So the spirits are real, but... This guy doesn't know how to actually... He doesn't seem like he knows how to actually fight them. Oh, he has someone to actually, like, to actually do it for him? Okay, that makes more sense. Because I was going to say, how is this guy even getting jobs in the first place? Like, ah. 
to the year. Ooh. This is the guy that showed in the openings. So he, he has real psychic abilities. How does the student have actual legit abilities? Did he get scammed as well? Did this guy get scammed by him as well to become his student? Even though he... Oh my god. How... This guy's like... Literally his abilities to be able to scam people are at a hundred. <laughs> Shouldn't he be technically getting a hundred percent of it because he did the work? Kind of a high agent fee. The power of salt didn't work. He really... I think this guy's the ultimate scammer. Thinks really high of himself. My question is, how would he even be able to help him if he like doesn't if he's not able to do anything himself? How are you able how are you able to teach somebody if you don't even know? Or is he kind of just bullshitting his way to, to teach him? That's what it seems like to me. Maybe he I mean he ha it seems like he at least knows they exist and he was able to figure out it appeared and stuff, but outside of that. I mean, if salt's your best attack, you're pretty much fucked. wonder if this is something that he was just, like, born with, or did... Like, he's obviously learning to use it. Salt Middle School. Okay. So everything's salty in this. <laughs> what the... What the... F Why the fuck do people have vegetable faces? Looks like he's not, you know, athletically inclined, but I mean, the psychic powers, I think, is way better than that. So who cares if you can kick a soccer ball? Mm. Seems like he works him like a dog. Very interesting world so far. I, I feel that uh, <laughs> why this uh, the main character mob, I, I'm very surprised why he I mean, I guess he's a student, so you need somebody to teach you. But it's kind of like when you run into like you're learning to like train up in something and you run into instead of running into somebody that's an actual expert, you run into a scammer. So is he really going to be able to actually like make his abilities better from this, you know, from that guy? I don't think so. Uh, but what the hell was the beginning, though? Like, I didn't get to really comment on that, but the beginning was like, is that past, future, just some whacked out acid dream? People poking needles at each other and they're seeing that? And vegetable faces? And I, I don't know. I, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Secluded, pl dark places like that would be best for spirits. Common thinking, anyway. Is he scared? Oh. Ah. The brain of an ADD student. <laughs> Meaning you... <laughs> They probably, that means he probably shouldn't, you know, go in there. You mean 100% support. <laughs> Wait, how can you go in there without flashlights? The basics of going into a dark area. I guess just clench your butt cheeks and, you know, hope you don't get attacked. Does that mean maybe the spirits, like, people died in this area? Is that why spirits would stay in that place? Is he really not going to do anything? <laughs> well, you got your phone light. Every spirit is so unique looking. Oh, shit. He looks more, like, threatening. At least in that view, he did. Oh. 
So the ah uh, the entire biker gang died. There's a technique. Cigarettes versus psychic powers. It's coming from mob, right? So mob can kind of make him look like he has powers. The ultimate shit. That's better than the one punch. Salty punch. Or not. You know what? He's good as a distraction. <laughs> oh. What are you going to do? Bottle him up? Well, that's the way to control them. Shrink them into nothing. Here's a question I have. Technically, like, he has no abilities and he was doing the salt or whatever. But for some reason, because he just transformed into that, it made me think, what if the salt actually did it? In my head, I want to say, hey, that was Mob actually doing that. Uh, but it could be the salt? <laughs> They're poor biker gang. I mean, they technically attacked, but you went in their turf, too. He would know. He definitely would know. <laughs> Does everybody die from ridiculous, like, outcomes and ridiculous deaths in this show? But if that guy who was pretty threatening, like, was supposedly nothing to this guy, can he take something like this? What the fuck? Okay, that's just a mess. I really love how this is animated, though. It's very unique. Blowing them up from the inside's one way to do it. Holy shit. Okay, he is that strong. He has that Saitama attitude a little bit. Like, that was just too easy. <laughs> yeah, because he didn't feel threatened at all. It's like he knew he was going to win. Maybe some type of spirit world or something? Or is there an existence of heaven and hell in here? Because, I mean, they were gang members, so... <laughs> Does he think he has a... Is he still, like, not understand that... I mean, regardless of him not having much, he does seem like a decent guy to mob, at least. There's quite a bit to dissect there. What a kind of an explosion of things in a first episode. I it was kind of hard to realize like what was going on in the beginning. There was like some epic fight between a guy and spirits in the beginning, which like initially just looked like a fucking acid trip gone completely wrong. Uh, but some type of thing I don't know if that's past or future uh but it seemed more like when it was explaining it's I usually assume it's past if it's like right in the beginning that makes a lot more sense um but uh now we see these people that fight against the spirits you know to make uh you know the normal type of thing to exercise them to be able to uh, you know, go up into either some spirit world or heaven or hell or whatever, whatever they count as that in the world. But something I noticed at the end there was the spirits were going up like the entire, which was kind of sweet at the end, the biker gang, you know, everybody meeting up at the end. And, you know, uh, so it's kind of a good thing if you if you're able to uh, defeat them. And it, it looks like that's what you want to do in this world. And, but I, I'm surprised like, I'm surprised that, like, it would just be one place. I don't know. For some reason, I thought it would be more like a heaven and hell. But if it's just a spirit world, then that means it's just a, like, it, it does, regardless, it's a good thing. Uh, at least once they realize, you know, what happened. It's funny, though, because they died from a goddamn banana peel. And there's so much fucking comedy in this, which I should have just expected because, you know, One Punch Man, uh, I, I definitely should have just expected it. But I think the comedy in here was even funnier faster like joke 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 
I mean, the the main character gives me some Saitama vibes a little bit. He's, you know, the face, the face is even kind of similar with obviously not the hair, but the the typical, the typical freaking, oh my God, that's so funny. Uh, but I, that haircut, man. But I, I love that, uh, that he has like psychic abilities, but he's still a student. He's trying to learn and everything like that. But uh, Reagan is just kind of, like this scam artist pretty much trying to he gets this student to think that I, I don't know maybe there's some secret like ability we don't know of his but the saw I mean we saw his secret abilities of using salt the saltiest of saltness but I just don't understand I, I don't understand how he can pull this off is mob just does he one doesn't care two do, he just doesn't it seem which it seems to me he just doesn't realize that he's being scammed and this guy because if somebody keeps saying, oh, don't worry, I have, you know, I have abilities or I have stuff. It's just very surprising that he's not like jumping on this and being like, uh, why am I being taught by somebody that literally doesn't have the same ability as me? How are you going to teach something that you don't even have yourself? It makes no sense. Or at least you know, I, I, that just the, that part didn't make sense to me. But it makes sense for story wise because it's funny as all goddamn hell. Um, him trying to like you know like exercise things himself and then sending mob to do it um mob seems like to have an over like overpowering psychic ability because when he walked in you know it's like the boss is down the corridor he's able to like he didn't seem threatened at all he seemed completely just down like down to earth ready to just uh fight it regardless of the power it's like he already could sense these from like a, he was sensing like the spirit ability from a very far distance. So it's like he already knew what he was going into and how many spirits were there. So he didn't seem threatened, uh, but he also just kind of like was able to go straight to the boss and destroy it in a heartbeat. That's why I was like, is this <laughs> that's why I said I kept getting Saitama vibes because he just looked bored when he was doing it. He just seemed very, very powerful. But he is differences. He still is a kid and he's still training this thing also the uh the technique it kept showing like mob explosion or something it looked like 26 percent, 27 percent or do they like put a percentage on ultimate attacks or or special moves or something like this is when uh he's gonna get this special move or that's kind of a unique thing also the uh i was wondering what the 100 meant but it was kind of funny it's just kind of you know counting uh counting up on uh on a hundred uh, there I, I I don't know the the whole show is just it's the first episode so I try I'm not trying to like dive too deep into it it just seems very uh it seems like there's a lot going on but not a lot going on at the same time not a lot's explained but like I said it's the first episode um so from what I can gather though it seems like it's going to be a fun comedy with uh some psychic abilities and some uh and just craziness and let me take another note here. What the fuck was that just like a joke in the like the animation department when they showed like there was girls with like vegetable heads. I caught that. It was like one second. There was like two girls next to that other girl with with the vegetable heads and then it disappeared and then we never saw that again. I, that's what I was thinking. Is it something that Mob saw? Was it just like I said, was it an animation like joke or something or I don't know what the hell was going on with that. Uh, that caught my eye immediately. Um, the faces that are drawn is really funny. I think the jo the jokes in general, especially the beginning. That's why I was like, holy shit, they are just like, they're putting it right at you right in the beginning. Making fun of that, like the lady saying, oh, you know, uh, that's what, you know, the spirit did that to you. It's like, no, that's how, it, that's how I look. <laughs> um, it's just, I don't know. It's a great episode, though. I, I uh, really enjoyed it. I can't wait to continue this. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Smash that like button. Uh, feel free to uh, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash AJRich123. Uh, also, you can check out my Twitter at AJRich123. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.